I'm Bill Reese. Uh, I'm president of Big Country Construction and Building Supplies Limited. Founder and uh, owner of this business as you see it today. So I would describe it as uh, general construction, which means we build new homes, we build shops for farmers, uh, we do renovations, being inside or outside of houses. We do things such as repair garage doors or install new garage doors. Pretty much whatever the customer needs in a farming industry, in a farming community. Long enough that I can't remember, but I think it's somewhere about 40 years. I was about five, six years before uh, I came out to Hannah and started. So uh, give or take in the construction industry, probably 45 years. No, uh, I actually was born and raised uh, in the Starland, which is just a few miles uh, west of here. But I moved to Hanna because it was basically the closest town that we could set up business in. Well, rural entrepreneur, I actually feel it's uh, very good uh, being a rural entrepreneur. I, uh, I can't say that I compare it with a lot of other because that's all I've done. Uh, when I, after I got my carpentry papers, I moved to Hanna and then we started up our own business. That's all I've ever done and known. But I really enjoy it. When I came to Hannah, I was a carpenter, so I wanted to get into the carpentry business somehow. I uh, kind of started as uh, doing the work and trying to buy the material elsewhere, but uh, I found that uh, there was just, it just didn't work. So we had to start up our own business to uh, be able to keep the inventory that we wanted to be able to serve the customer to the degree that we felt it. Part of the skill is the carpentry part I actually had before I came to Hannah because I was a journeyman carpenter when I came here. As far as the, <laughs> as far as the business skills, I think I picked them up as I went, uh, probably mostly by mistakes. I wouldn't want to necessarily that's the way to recommend that's the way to go, but uh, that was the way I did it. Well, the biggest issue against running this business is it costs too much money. The cost there is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, too much bureaucracy. We have people in uh, making rules and regulations that don't understand the industry. By that, they're, they're coming up with stuff that doesn't help the industry, but costs us a lot to try and follow through with what they want. That's been my biggest problem. The most satisfying moment for me over the years has probably been, first of all, when we put up this building and set up this place, you're never sure how it's gonna turn out, but. It, it over the years it proved to turn out very very well i think we designed it to meet our needs exceptionally well and the other big thing is all the good people that i've had the opportunity to work with uh, anna has great people and uh, we've had the opportunity to uh, staff wise are excellent uh, people wise are very good to deal with well we've had this building since uh, I think 82, 1982, so, so almost 40 years. We built, we built this ourselves, we bought this property, and we put up the building ourselves and went to work. My key driving force was uh, to start up and moan and go this way was the fact of just the uh, lack of knowledge in our trade from people I was dealing with previously. They didn't understand the quality that we were expecting to put out they didn't bring in the quality of material that I wanted. It took too long for stuff to come in. They wouldn't order stuff in in time. So too much lost time and lack of uh, experience. Most definitely. It was the only way I could have done it. It's major. We had family life, but it was limited. Uh, if It took a lot of time, many days. As far as I'm concerned, the uh, average day was a 16-hour day, and that was seven days a week. It wasn't all here. I farm as well, so I spent some of it farming, but I also spent time with the family, but when they went to bed at 11 o'clock, I came back and turned the lights on and worked till four in the morning. Perhaps it didn't affect my family life so much, but it sure took a lot of time for me. And But if I would do, do it again, I would do it again. I, I don't know if I'd do much a whole lot different when you're young and ambitious. If you're willing to work, just about anything's possible. And if I was back young to start this now at my age, I would never do it. It's too much work. But I, don't, I didn't mind work, and I never ever have minded work. 
and I sure like the uh, benefits to owning a business as well. And we've enjoyed them all. Well, the benefits is basically, okay, you're the boss, so you get to call the shots. Uh, one thing about it, you, you have to call all the shots. But if you want a day off in the middle of the week, you kind of can take it if you wish. Uh, probably still get paid for it. Uh, but it, it's also, you got the ability to change things to the quality you want. That was probably the biggest reason that I like where I'm at. Uh, when I worked for someone else, I always had to put the quality out that they wanted, and I was never satisfied with that. So that's probably the biggest reason. First of all, probably the first three years of your life is probably going to be the worst three years of your life because you're always flat broke and you don't know what you're doing, even though you think you do. The next is uh, you've got to be able to work with people, very, very much so, whether it be uh, your own staff, customers, or uh, like lending industries, etc., etc. You have to learn to be firm if you believe in something. You have to learn to be firm and follow through with it. But you better be ready to spend a lot of hours at first because you can't afford to hire people to do everything you'd like done. The advice I would give is, of course, look into it and get as much information as you can and get to know it as well as possible before you start. And the second is try and wrap yourself around some real good people. Good people make a business. The, the boss just uh, kind of tries to organize those good people. That's all you can do. Lack of regulations. The people that are making the regulations or the rules that we have to work by are actually qualified people from the industry. Get out and talk to the smaller person, not the great big company that does billions of dollars. Uh, get out and talk to people from the industry. Get advice from them. Make rules uh, or regulations that are sustainable and then actually follow the then the the regulator should follow through with, if people aren't following them, there's got to be consequences for it. Instead of just making a new rule, trying to cover up for the old rule because everybody's afraid to follow through with what they're supposed to be doing. That's killing the industry, every industry in Canada. Like I was a good carpenter, we, we built good houses 40 years ago and we had half the regulations. But they didn't tramp on the people that were doing a bad job. So they bring in more regulations, trying to regulate those people instead of using the rules that they had in place at the time that they could have put them out of business. I think my favorite quote is, don't leave for tomorrow what can be done today. And I think if people follow through with that, the work would always get done.